Boeing has received a license from the US government to offer its F-16X fighter jet to Indian Air Force for the MMRCA project. The MMRCA, that is Medium Multi-Role Combat Aircraft, is a tender that falls under India's Make in India initiative under which the country pursues to jointly manufacture 114 fighter aircraft and assess its Air Force expansion plans. Companies across Europe, Russia and USA have been competing for this project which is expected to offer $18 billion in coming times. Since now it has got approval from US government, Boeing F-15X will compete with Sweden Gripen and France Rafale among others for the Indian Air Force tender. The McDonnell Douglas F-15E Strike Eagle, which is also known as Boeing F-16X Eagle, is an American all-weather multi-role strike fighter derived from its earlier version of F-15 Eagle. Flying at high altitude, it can attain a speed of 2.5 Mach. The Strike Eagle has been deployed for military operation in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria and Libya, among other aircrafts. So what are the contenders for this tender? The first one is Dassault Rafale F3R. The French Rafale aircraft made by Dassault Aviation is on the top of contender list for the MMRCA plan. The Indian Air Force has already inducted 11 of the 36 twin-engine Rafales which are also capable of delivering nuclear weapons under the 59,000 crore rupee deal inked with France in September 2016. The French believe that they have both history and the present loaded in favour of their twin-engine jet. Recently, Reports have claimed that France has already offered a deal to Indian government regarding indigenous production of these aircraft, which means the aircraft has an upper hand in the race. The next one is Lockheed Martin F-16 Fighting Falcon Super Viper Block 70. The F-16 has flown more sorties than any other fighter jet in the world. So it has a tag of experience around the world. There are also more fighting falcons flying in the world today than any other aircraft. The Lockheed Martin has also offered to move its assembly line at Fort Worth, Texas to India to meet the Make in India requirement. The third one on the list is Saab Gripen E. The Swedish firm has made an offer to help co-develop India's homemade Tejas light combat aircraft. Because Saab Gripen E is a single-engine aircraft, it is likely to be cheaper than at least four others in the competition. But there are things Swedish in Indian military history since the 1980s that have not found much favour in New Delhi. The fourth one is Eurofighter Typhoon. The Eurofighter Typhoon made by consortium of European companies headed by EADS was the only other aircraft apart from the Rafale that met the technical requirement of IAF. It lost because the Rafale was said to be cheaper and the rules in the global tender did not allow for the negotiation with the runner-up. Should the European consortium quote a cheaper price, the Indian Air Force will have to deal with diversifying its inventory. Though cost will play a major role in the tender, but current geopolitical scenarios will also affect it and time awaits which country will India prefer.